morning everyone, it's Kat, or evening, or afternoon, or hi, kia ora, uh, Kat from Cross Stitch here in Wellington, New Zealand. It is uh, Saturday the 17th yeah, of June, uh, I'm not sure what floss number it is, but it's 30 something, and uh, that'll be in the details down below. Um, for those that are, are coming along for the first time, this is Monkey. Uh, making his presence known right off the bat. Thank you guys very much for stopping on by. Um, and I've got Bobby looking at me wanting to get up. Is that why you got up? Okay. Um, right. So thank you very much for stopping by. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. And um, you know, if, if you like, if you like what you see, even though occasionally it can be a bit of a train wreck. Um, and I go off tangent, please make sure that you like, subscribe. Uh, I try to post every couple of weeks and, um, yeah, and I'm on Instagram as well. So like, subscribe, do all the things. It is all about cross stitch in general. Uh, occasionally other stuff might slip in. And for those that are coming back to watch me again, Thank you guys so much. Um, now I've got Bobby wanting to get up as well. So just so I've got a big couch, a big chair. Come on. Okay, right. Okay, now. <sighs> right. Are you going to get up the back? You are? Alrighty. Okay, so there's Bobby McGee. Wanting to make his appearance as well. Because, you know. But thank you guys for coming back and seeing me again. It's going to be one of those days, I tell you. I don't think it's going to be a very long one, though, so you won't have to put up with it for too long. Right, so today uh, it's a bit of a cool morning here in Wellington, um, but it's a lovely morning. It's got, you know, lovely blue sky and all that sort of thing. So um, who knows what I'll get up to today. I'm just going to pull my table back over now that the animal's both up. Um... Okay, so today, what am I going to go through? We've got some a bunch of new starts. I had a, a bit of a new start frenzy, I, th I think it, you know, would be called. I just, because I had all the kits, you know, that I'd kitted up right next to me, and I just kept starting just a bit on, on a whole bunch of new projects. There's one that I might have already shown you from last time, and, um, but we'll, we'll just sort of, show you again um, and I've also got a whip uh, start and finish and some finishes so there you go right okay so let's get into it and I'll try and do this without monkey causing too much problems hey yes yeah you're looking very suave today monkey thanks okay so the first new start is one that I showed you last week is a chart that um, I said I wanted to start and that is um, Strawberry Bell Pull from Stitch With Coffee and I am starting it on the onion dyed fabric the 18 count um, so here we go this is where I'm up to for my start Now I was missing a couple of colours, which is why I didn't completely finish the top part. But I had a bit of a clean up and I found those missing colours along with a pouch of DMC that I'd forgotten I'd put, in, put away because they were my extras. So I'm going to sort through those as well and replenish my DMC that has, you know, reduced because of me using a whole bunch of DMC recently. So there you go. Occasionally it does pay to clean up. I won't say all that often, but you know, sometimes. Okay, so the next one might be a little hard to see on camera, I've noticed, but I can see it nicely here. Okay, so it is another one that I showed you last week from Erin Elizabeth, the B, uh, the B tier. And I'm stitching it on an unnamed piece of... Um, 14 count Ada from Mystic Fabrics. This was in one of the grab bags. So I've started it. Oh, you might be able to see it down the bottom. 
You can see the grey, but the white is not really showing up on camera, which is really annoying. But I've, I've made a start on that one as well. And I have to remember to take start you know, photos of all of these before I start working on any of them again. This one, I'm not 100% sure I found it. it. It was in my print-ups that were in storage um, of ones from magazines or pages from magazines. And I haven't written it down, um, but this is this is what the design looks like, and I'm just picking my own colours from the stash, and that was just a quick start stitching it on 14 count opal Ada. This is the one I'm not sure did I start previously, and you've seen it. Uh, if so, there's no progress. If you haven't, then this is the start. <laughs> um, yeah. So the colours are going to be a bit different flying through these today. This one is another one that I showed last week from Quaternion Creations. Um, it is I Am Colour and I'm stitching it on the 22 count fabric that I onion dyed. And that's the start on this one. So it's going to look lovely as I as I add more. The next new start is another Erin Elizabeth, and it's which is a coffee shop. This one here. I'm stitching it on 14 count Wolf Marite. Uh, it's an opal one from Jody Redesigns, and there's my start on this one. Again, the colour's not showing up wonderfully on screen, but I see it nicely in person, which is really annoying. So that's on Wolf Marite, and it's going to be Witch's Coffee Shop. So we'll see what the rest of it looks like as I go. This is, like I said, it's going to be a quick show. Um, and then the last new start was Honey of a Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. Uh, and it's just a, a little start and it's on the 18 count or the 16 count prehistoric from Fox and Rabbit. So we've just got the date, the um, sunflowers done. So those are my new starts. The only whip I worked on was a little bit more of my Mill Hill Nomi. Oh, that's where it was. So I've added in the yellow and I finished off that grey that was still in the needle. So that's that one. And then start and finish, and they're all going to go on this piece of fabric, uh, is a Colitude from That's So Kelly, the first one. Um, and I actually just did it in the old... DMC black because it's on 14 count sparkly fabric and hopefully you can see the sparkle but I don't think you will but you never know but that, the gold that you see in the fabric that's all sparkly so in all ways be kind sorry nothing's ironed I know um, it's because it's still a piece of fabric I'm working on um, if you're interested in getting the colitudes then you just go to That's So Kelly, subscribe to the newsletter, and you get them sent to you. Um, and, and there's new ones, you know, a new one every month sort of thing. So, yeah, really cool. So I was happy to get that one done. The next one was a whip finish. So it's one that I showed last week, which was... The Autumn Meditation from Carolyn Manning, which is this one here. And this is where I was. And here it is, all finished. So this is what I'm going to make into a lovely little pillow ornament. There we go. 
I picked my own colours. Um, and um, and I added the the border, the just the back stitch border around the parts that were open. So not not this corner section here, but just around the outside. And then I'm going to turn that into a pillow once I've finished filling out the rest of that piece of fabric. And then another one that I showed as a start last week, I finished. Which was, again, I haven't ironed anything, you know. Um, my my room at the moment, I'm sort of in this real little corner of it because there's stuff all over the place because I was pulling everything out to sort out stuff and I had to clear off the chair so that I could, <laughs> so that I could film. Um, so the iron is in the cupboard over in the corner which is a whole bunch of stuff in front of it so I wasn't about to do that because otherwise I'd get stuck into doing all the organising again and I still wouldn't iron. Um, so it was this one here, Spooky Row from Bent Creek and this is where I was up to. I had literally just started it and then I got carried away and I finished it. So there it is. That's how I start from all the way along. The reason I was doing a big tidy up is because I'm trying to find the safe place that I put my beads. I haven't found it yet. Um, because I want the beads to put in the skeleton eyes and in those little eyes over the sea. And I know, I've, I mean, I've got two ruddy boxes of them. Do you think I can find them? I need to make them brighter coloured than anything black. I can't have anything black because I can never find it. Um, if I can't find it in here, then I'm going to have to pull apart my bedroom. I'll be really annoyed if it's in my bedroom, <laughs> but I'm not because I've found extra things in here, so that's all right. So there we go. Really, really happy with that. I haven't decided yet if it's going to be a really big drum because it will be a big drum. I'm not, mm, not thinking that. Um, but I haven't quite decided what it's going to be. Which makes me wonder what I'm going to do with the stitching row. I'm sure once I figure out what to do with one of them, then the other one will do the same thing. Um, I don't think it's going to be framed. Chances are if I'm going to do anything with it, it will be a flat finish. Um, because trying to find a frame would be... No. Now I can't remember if I showed this last week as a finish or as a new start. I think it might have been a new start, which was from Bad Stitch. Um, Earth, Day Otter, Earth Day Sea Otter and I would have been up to this point and here it is he's so cute I just think he's really cute and that was just on a piece of grey 14 count Ada um, and then here's more <laughs> so much well I haven't done much this week uh, this fortnight maybe, maybe I have done a little bit okay. and then a, another whip finish was from Quaternion Creations uh, which was Nevermind and this is where I was up to last time when I had my new start Actually, I think this was a start and finish. I think I just showed it to you. So if there's no extra picture, then that's because it's a new start and finish. Um, I'm sort of losing track of days a little bit. Uh, it was, yeah, so never mind. And here it is. So this is stitched on a 14 count Black Friday uh, from Jody Redesigns. The... Um, the bird and the word is in Black Etoile and that 
is in glow in the dark, which was a sod. <laughs> it was, uh, it was a bit of a sod. It was actually threading the needle. It was more of a hassle than actually stitching. But yeah, um, and you do it in short lengths, so it's not quite so annoying. Um, and then I just used a pale, uh, variegated grey for the, which you can't really see on the camera nicely. Oh, there we go. You can see the shadowing of it. Um, for the branch. So yeah, so never mind by Quaternion Creations. So I was really happy about that. That was good. And then now, I already showed. I think I already showed. No, I was almost finished. So Chubby Bird uh, by Jeanette Douglas. This one. Um, I started it as Stitch Camp uh, with Colorado Cross Stitch. And I was nearly finished here when... So this is where I was. So I was nearly done. At least I think I've got a photo of where I was up to. I hope so. Uh, if not, then whoops. Um, but this is her finished. Love it. Uh, and she stitched on the 14 count. I still didn't find out. I keep on thinking it's like spring pixies or spring something. Um, from Jodie Redesigns. And it's uh, opalescent. So it's a little bit sparkly as well. And then I thought, well, she's, you know, she needs her friend. And I said I've got the chubby bunny. So I did this as a start and finish. Picking my own colours as well. So, that's them both. And I'll be making them into circles. And hopefully mounting them on wooden discs as well. And then the last whip finish, which I am so happy. I mean, I love it, but it was such a strain on my eyes to do <laughs> this much. Um, is my Black Cat Inn from Sub Rosa. Uh, so I started this last year, about September, I think last year. And I only really did the witch um, in one of the cats. That was all I'd done. I pulled it out again this year, and I've spent about eight days on it in total, and there's just under 5,000 stitches, one over one, on 25 count. <laughs> um, and I opted not to do the top border down the bottom. And here's my black cat in. All done. So I chose to give her a slightly greenish hue uh, for her face and her hands. Um, and I'm really, really happy with it. Such teeny tiny stitches. Look at those tiny, can you see? I don't know, is it focusing? Tiny stitches. Um, and I spent the last two nights actually working on it to try and finish it. Um, about 700 stitches each night and they really did tax my eyes so once I'd worked on these on, on this I couldn't do any more stitching <laughs> it was like okay can't do no more so there we go so that's another finish um I did get someone else to print up a few charts for me uh one of them is I've just got the cover pages which I've kept in a safe place so that I can laminate them because I've got some laminating pockets as well. So one of them is The Wizard of Oz. This is by Tiny Modernist and it's going to be something that Judy from An Aussie in a Kiwi World and I are going to be starting next month. So if you're interested in joining us, go and check it out. It's a really cute design. It's a little bit bigger than the B tier and the Canadian tier, like the Erin Elizabeth tiers. It's probably closer in size to the Madame Chantilly, which I said was a bit big, but I'm thinking this would be great as a panel for a tote bag or something like that. So, and it also depends on what count you do it on. 
I'm probably going to do it on an 18 count and I'm going to see if I can dye a piece of fabric. Um, I don't know if I'll do a blue background. I'll just see what I can come up with. Um, but yeah, that's that one. And then Stitch for Sage. Uh, Night's Fruit Studio Sage. You probably would have heard already on a lot of the floss tubes um, that Sage is having a battle, health battle at the moment. And so the idea is to let's support Sage uh, while she's fighting her fight and go and buy one of her Night Spirit Studio charts on Etsy um, and stitch that up for her. I've actually got a few Night Spirit Studio and I've done a few of them as well. Um, do I want to try and pick them out and knock everything off? No, not at the moment. Uh, but I have done a couple. I've also still got about another six to do. But I did go and get the Vampire Den. I just sort of think that's really cool. And I'm thinking that grey piece of fabric, <laughs> that donkey, I might put that on that. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a floss toss and see um, how, it, how it works colour-wise on it. Uh, I also got printed up from Al Forest Embroidery, The Cats Have Arrived. Figured why not, which is this one here. It's a very cool chart. I've yet to do an Al Forest Embroidery design, but I'm thinking this might be my June first, uh, July first start for the Camp Stitch. I haven't quite decided yet because I've actually got another two already kitted up to choose from to start on that day. So who knows? This might get started this month. And then the last one is from T Tempting Tangles Design. And it's one that I had to get as soon as I saw it, even though I wasn't supposed to, you know, buy any more charts. I had to. It was necessary. I regard it as a need, not a want needed the maple leaf um, and the lovely Nicole from North Island Stitcher has some thread for me to use which will be perfect so um, I'll hopefully be picking it up tomorrow from her when we Nara, Nicole and I all get together uh, at Nicole's. Monkey don't start knocking stuff over come on up you get. yes okay don't you know be don't be rude. Thank you very much. Okay, so I did get a little bit of, of stitchy stash, but it's mainly fabric. Um, and it's it's at the bottom of one of the piles, either on the desk or over in that corner. I forgot to grab it. That's fine. I just got some pieces of fabric. Um, from Ribbon Rose um, to use as backing, for some pillows, um, oh sorry, uh, use as backing for some pillows as well as uh, for my little pincushion dolls when I start making them. I did misbehave a little bit uh, on Timu. Yep. Caved. Went. Clicked. Cart. Bye. Maybe a few times. So, um, there, yeah, I, I might just yeah, put some pictures just here of the sort of things that I brought. I'll, I'll just, um, which apparently will arrive next week. So what I might do, because there's no way I'm going to hold on to all of them and not put them away for a week, um, I will maybe do a little video of all of the bits and pieces that I get and I'll attach that onto my next floss tube. Um, okay, yep, it's going to be a quickie. So I, you know, nothing, nothing really big is happening uh, that I know of. 
we, we st I'm still getting responses from my emails that I've sent out with the Stitchy Retreat. Um, again, um, I'm, you know, it's 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 a very emotive thing, and it's and you know I got to admit it, you know, it brings me a lot of joy and and happiness to to be able to do this for such a good cause for the women's refuge so again i send out to any of them that might be watching thank you so much from myself nara and nicole thank you we we we're overwhelmed by the support that our stitching community has given us um okay I have a watched. I've got, I've actually got a list to watch today and tomorrow <laughs> um, of, of plus tubers, but you know, some of the ones that I've, I've seen in the last week um, Stitching with the Sisterly, Stitching Bunny, um, Fox and Rabbit. I hope you guys get well soon. Um, and, and, um, Been watching a lot of StitchCon, either prep or, you know, mini ones like Janet Jabber. Love watching her. So exciting when you know she's just so excited about everything. Um, and uh, uh, stitching by the shore, Lost in Floss. Um, oh, Lost in Stitches. I've got Lost in Floss to watch. Uh, linen and flax um yeah there's i mean there's there's just so many that i've been watching um in between my crime because you know you break up one enjoyment with another enjoyment and not that i commit crime but i like watching it um and so i've been catching up on my emma kenny and my um monday murder and makeup um and with Sarian Bailey and Bailey Sarian, is it right? Um, and oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been busy watching, watching a lot of that as well, um, when I'm not working. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Not not a heck of a lot this week. I was thinking of doing a mid year parade whether it's a whip parade or a finish parade i'm thinking it might be a finish parade but that will take a bit of time to prep and i wasn't ready for this weekend <laughs> so maybe next week which will be at the end of the month um i might do a mid-year finish parade for the finishes so far this year um i'll also include any any work that i've done in the next two weeks uh, any stitchy plans? Not really until next month. So I've got the um, the Wizard of Oz tier that I'll be starting with Judy on the first. Uh, we've also got Stitchy Camp. I'm still fine tuning which one I'm actually going to start on the, on on that day. Um, there are a few others that I've, I've sort of earmarked but nothing's sort of jumping out I was happy to get two more of my whips off my whip board um, so let's see so I've got that one off my whip board now from last year that's what these, these ones are so I've just got that one nearly down to one board so those are those are what I've bought through from last year so I've got Luna by Bothy the problem is I've lost one of the threads and it's not the black if it was the black no worries unfortunately it's a dark blue so I've got to email Bothy and ask them what number is the dark blue because I need it because I've lost it I've still got I oh know the mid blue is what I've lost um, if I hadn't started already using it, because I'd already started using it sort of over here, I suppose I could unpick it um, and just choose another mid-blue, but I'd rather use the right one. Um, 
so I've got that one to do. I've got my Tudor Ermine to do. My Chester's Place, which is going to need a bit of frogging. Uh, Alice from Ori TM. My Grim Sal, which I don't know if it's even going to fit on the piece of fabric. So there might be some early finishing on that one. My Bella Filipina, Bellatrix. I need to get the beads on her. All hearts come home at Christmas. Um, so I need to get that one done. And then my coffee time from Happy Mood Point. So those are the ones that I've still got left from last year to finish. That I, that I brought into this year. So that's not too bad. Two, four, six, eight. Eight left. I had 21. So me getting rid of all of those, hopefully by the end of the year, is potential. Is potentially doable. Admittedly, a lot of them are the bigger ones now. Um, and one of them has to be frogged a lot. And one of them, I need to backstitch as well as bead. I don't mind the beading. I love doing the beading. I hate doing backstitch. Um, yeah. So there we go. So, um, that's it from me. I, I don't really have anything else to show or chat about or anything like that. So it's going to be a nice quick one for you this week. From me, Bobby and Monkey, who's now on sentry duty on my printer looking out the window making sure that nobody dares to come near the property because it's not the dog you have to watch out for it's the cat who attack uh anyway so you guys take care and um if you're in a cool place make sure you wrap up warm and uh you know lots of hot drinks and 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 you know those comfort foods best time to have them in the winter if you're in a warm place and you're getting you know i've seen temperatures going up overseas and stuff on floss tube you know make sure you drink a lot slip slop slap sunscreen protect yourself from the sun um and, and that sort of thing and no matter what remember to march to the beat of your own drum because that's where the magic happens we'll see you in two weeks take care everybody and have a great two weeks toodles